Well, I've been coming to NCOIL since I first got involved in insurance in my state. Um, and I became, when I became chair, I was invited to come here by my colleagues from both sides of the aisle. Uh, it has been a great and wonderful experience. It's been about five years since I've been coming to NCOIL, about one-tenth of its existence. Uh, and of course, uh, NCOIL started in New York State, so there's a heritage there that, that uh, we like to keep up. I come back to NCOIL because it's, it's a forum for ideas, that, for exchanges between legislators without the partisan rancor that can sometimes exist back in our home states. It also is a laboratory. It allows us to sit down with our colleagues from other states and develop best practices, hear about best practices, and sometimes get ready for the debate that we're going to have to deal with when we go back home. I'm always excited about health. The health, the health sessions are always the most dynamic, and of course the chair of the health committee is a dear friend, and, and I'm always uh, grateful for her service to this organization. The other highlight for me is, in, is in, invariably, it's the Griffith Institute luncheons where legislators get together and hear experts in the field, uh, sometimes on very general issues like what is risk, and sometimes on very uh, sophisticated issues like today where we were learning about uh, micro insurance in third and fourth world countries. This is my first trip to Austin. I have not. I, 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 I have not had a chance to see anything because I came in late last night in unseasonably cold weather here, but nice and warm compared to where I came from in New York. Just I'm very grateful to, uh, to the organization, NCOIL, uh, for continuing the nonpartisan traditions and for making sure that every conference is a substantive one. I would warn my colleagues who are thinking about coming, this is not a junket. We work hard here.